I'm filming the talking bits of this video with just my natural hair so you can see the difference between my natural hair and the two hairstyles you're gonna see in this video. Let's go. Today's episode is brought to you by the Blue Mon Rhino t-shirt campaign that we are doing right here. It's the first time Blue Mon has ever run a t-shirt campaign. This is being done with Teespring. This shirt that you are seeing is gonna be available for the next 10 days from today. Personally, I'm a big fan of the artwork that we've got going on, so I thought, you know, if this could look cool on a t-shirt, let's throw it up and see what happens. So, it's available for the next 10 days. Today goes Modern Pompadours, Modern Pompadour versus the Modern Quiff. Which one's better? Which one is for you? That's what we're really wanting to establish with this video. When we're talking about modern, a modern pompadour, a modern quiff, what does that mean? Well, basically, all that really means is that the length at the sides is drastically shorter than the length on top. Modern pompadour, that's a shiny finish. Modern quiff, that's a matte finish. Just clearing that up. I'm gonna kick it off with the modern pompadour and go through some of the advantages of this hairstyle along with some of the disadvantages. Let's start. So a clean pompadour can look clean to the mat. A modern pompadour done right can look really snazzy. It looks really clean, looks really sophisticated. It looks like you know what you were doing, like you've got your life together. It's that kind of hairstyle if it's pulled off correctly. It's a great hairstyle for more formal occasions, for the times that you need to kind of step it up a notch, whether that be kind of a classy first date, if you will, maybe a more formal work event, a classy cocktail party. These are the kind of things where a modern pompadour will shine. See what I did there? Shine. Uh, also an added benefit, a lot of products that you use to make pompadours, AKA pomades, um, a lot of them have healthy benefits for your hair. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Fit sample by Blue Mod. Of course, this is something that we worked hard to get into the formula. We wanted it to be a good styling product, but also be very hair beneficial. So, and there's a few other pomades out there on the market. Because of that shine, that allows you to add a few extra healthy oils into the formula, therefore making it often a good leave-in conditioner. That said, just a few things, a few negatives that must be shared with everybody. The number one reason why I don't personally rock a modern pompadour as often as I could is because of the learning curve that's there and just how long it takes to get the hairstyle to look good. The learning curve, of course, that happens at the beginning. If you've never done it before, there is a serious learning curve and a lot of patience required to make your hairstyle look sleek and in place and not sloppy and like, it, you know, bringing it all together to look 100%. After the learning curve though, and of course this depends kind of on hair types, but especially for my hair type, even though I know how to do it, it takes me so much longer than any other hairstyle um, that I could choose. I'll do it, and when I do, it, it looks pretty good and I'm glad that I did it, it just, it takes a long time. The second slight negative is that you really need to have the perfect hair length for a pompadour. The thing about messy hairstyles is that it was just that. It, it can be a messy hairstyle, and therefore the length of your hair doesn't matter too much. A pompadour though, the sweet spot for me, and again, depending on hair, hair type a little bit, but it's about four and a half to six inches. I'm coming up on that five inch mark right now, and that's just about the length that pompadours work really well for me. Any shorter, it's gonna be kind of sticking forward. Any longer, it's gonna start drooping. So hair length plays a big role into how good your pompadour is gonna look. And finally, this is one that less people will experience, but it's still a factor. Pomades, because there is a higher density of oil in the formula, some people with sensitive skin can experience breakouts more often than using a different product. It's never been a problem for me. I haven't experienced breakouts, but uh, Ben, for example, has. Um, in the past when using a pomade, so just something to bear in mind. Moving on to the Modern Quiff, starting out with the positives. Modern Quiff is the king of texture. If you like texture, you're gonna like the Modern Quiff. Of course, depending on your product of choice will depend on the, le the level of texturedness, but in general, matte finished products will of course produce more texture than a shine product. Also, opposite to the pomade, uh, the Modern Quiff is a much more easy hairstyle to do that takes a lot less time. The product that we're using to demonstrate the modern quiff today is once again 
the upcoming Blumon slash Cameron Cretney clay. Inherently, once again, because it is a messier hairstyle, messier hairstyles don't take as much time to achieve because it's it's messier than a sleek hairstyle. Also, the modern quiff is good for almost every occasion that you could possibly need. If it's more casual, you can rock it a bit more messy, a bit more out of place. More formal, just kind of scoop that back with your hands, tighten the hairstyle a little bit. It still, you know, still has that messy edge, but you can make a modern quiff look pretty neat if you need to. In terms of the negatives, the first one kind of obvious, very counter to the pomade. Using or achieving a modern quiff will never have that sleek, sophisticated edge that a really good modern pompadour would have. You just can't compare the two. A modern pompadour that looks sick, looks sick. It looks sleek, it looks sophisticated. It looks like you, you need to be wearing like thousand dollar tuxedo. And the only other real negative that I could think of is that products used to achieve a quiff are on the drier side because you're often going for matte finish hairstyles. Drier products inherently are a little bit rougher and tougher to put in your hair because they're not as sleek or shiny or as wet as pomade. So if you feel like you have sensitive hair that kind of pulls out easier, you might experience that a little bit more with uh, products for quiff as opposed to pomades for a pompadour. So that's the two put head to head. Which one do you guys prefer better? Which one do you guys like more? Which one do you guys rock more? Let me know in the description down below and your reason why. Also, check out the Bloomon Community Facebook group on Facebook if you haven't yet, where people share their pictures of their hairstyles every day, ask for questions, uh, give some help, some advice. Good stuff along with that t-shirt, again, if you want to check it out, it's available for the next 10 days in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video, and I'll see everybody next time.